our life. Saved. Happy December! If you don't know what that means, we're not really friends. You don't know what that means. We're not really friends. Well, it's my, it's my birthday month. Sorry, I had to turn my phone down. I was going to echo all night. Uh, welcome to Side Dish. It's me, Doug. Um, I think we have the plague daughter on my house. So um, it's me, and Amy is uh, limping along here. And, uh, you know, it's you. So thanks for being here. Um, we're going to be in December, being the holidays, more of the holiday season with many different holidays this month. Uh, we're going to make latkes. And we're going to do in a classic potato one. I know you can use kohlrabi or you can add cumin or something like that. Um, but we are not going to do that. We're just going to have the straight up potato latkes. Whoops. I don't know what kohlrabi is. It's a root vegetable. Oh. Is it like a parsnip? Well, yeah. I don't know what a parsnip is either. Well, that's it. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, so basically we're gonna do that, and we're gonna we're gonna make a three minute eggnog. Now I know in a lot of cases that it takes longer, but we're this is a, a quick recipe with we're using egg yolks, milk. And um, that's pretty much simple it. syrup. Simple syrup. Yep. 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 Exactly. And one ounce of brandy. And we're going to mix that all together and we're going to have a yum yum when I come time. And um, <laughs> so we uh, we had what was how many years? That was a, a few years ago now, right? We were in New York. Yeah. It's been a while. When was that? But um, we went over the, we left Reno on the 26th of December. We got to New York the 27th, and we split, spent the um, holiday, <laughs> the New, New Year's, Year. and with our good friends Matt and Adriana here, and we stayed at Adriana's parents' uh, brownstone in Brooklyn. It was beautiful. It was amazing. But one of the things that was really amazing is, was that New Year's Eve, right? Yeah. So New Year's Eve. You uh, mean, in... Uh... At the park? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I was, uh, uh, no, that wasn't New Year's Eve. What day was that? Was it? I think it was. I think we went early and then we came back and then we went to the Prospect Park. Oh, okay. So uh, Adriana has a friend, Ruby, and Ruby um, took us to the lighting of the last uh, menorah flame on the Brooklyn giant. It's a giant menorah that they have and they light it. It's beautiful. But while we were there... All of a sudden, out of nowhere, people were swarming, like, would you like a latke? Would you like a latke? Oh, would you like a latke? And it, it was, was unbelievable. Yeah. It was such an experience, and I'm so glad that we did it because, we, you know. We invited ourselves along, but, yeah, but she was she happy was, to take yeah, us. Yeah, she was so happy to take us. <laughs> so um, the recipe is pretty straightforward. I mean, it's basically making a fancy potato pancake. Let's see. That was in 2016. Three, and you're right. It was New Year's Eve. Five years ago. Um, at Grand Army Plaza. So you need about one pound of potato. This is it says two two large russets. This is a I guess extra large russet, and it weighs <clears> one pound, <throat> one quarter ounce. And it says rub, scrub it and cut it lengthwise, and then cut it into quarters. So I guess like this, and like this, and leave it the skin on, which I find interesting. Good. I guess it doesn't matter because what we're going to do with it is put it in the blender. And we're going to shred it. And then we're going to wrap it in this towel. You're going to put it in the food process. That's what I meant. Food process. And we're going to uh, shred it. And I'm going to wrap it in this towel and squeeze as much of the moisture out of it as possible. So. Try not to rip the towel this time, would you? I can't help it if these muscles are <laughs> what they are. Um, how's, everybody, uh, how's everybody's Thanksgiving? Um, we did go live Thanksgiving Day. Just I wanted to have... You know, be live, see what people are up to, chat with them. We were on for two and a half hours. It was really fun. So yeah, you just love being on camera now. Yep, I'm a, I'm a diva. So uh, get your food processor, and then I this is a new one for us. But apparently, it you locks. could just shred this on a cheese grater. You could, but I'm not. Going to. I'm going <laughs> but to. I'm saying, if you don't have a food processor, yeah. So of course. Yep. Perfect. You Take the big part off. Oh, watch. Doesn't run without it in there. Look. Look. Yeah, so you have to have it clicked in. It doesn't make any sense. I know. 
So we're just going to cut these like this. Oops. Oh, don't drop that. And we'll just do it this way. It's an audible. Who cares? Yep, that's how this always works. What's happening? One spinning around in there? Oh, more than one now. That's okay. Let's see if this one fits. It never goes down all the way, you know? I don't know why that is. I don't know why they're made like that. Yeah, I mean, that's as far as it goes. Yeah. And then we're also going to put the onion in there. Oh, that's yeah. convenient. Yeah. Everything gets shredded together real nice, like. Um, yeah. How many onions? Well, it says one large onion or two large onions. No, I'm sorry, one large onion or eight ounces. This was a what I would consider a medium onion, and it was eight ounces almost exactly as well. Seven and seven eighths. So I mean that's pretty close to the Okay. There are some big pieces in here, but I'm just gonna oh man, that is catching me in the face. Is that onion? Yeah. I'm just going to take the bigger pieces out, you know, and we'll, anything else we'll put in the, in the bowl. Oh, man. It's really attacking me, everyone. Oh. Um, I'm sure everybody's probably getting ready for Christmas or Hanukkah or... That's safe. Uh, you know, it's like, I don't know. We have been in full effect around this. With Christmas lights up this year, finally. Um, we put the decorated the tree last night. Yeah, got the tree decorated. We've got we got singing snowman. We've got Christmas trees all over the place. What else we got in here? The, Christmas village. We have a Christmas village. We have a Dr. Seuss Christmas village. Yeah. I mean, I don't have my glitter houses up yet, but I will. Yeah, and we'll have to show those. Do we show them? No. Um, it is really killing me right now. I'm just going to throw this down first and then let gravity help us. Uh, so sorry. We'll get scraped the rest. That's it. Um, man, you know what I really wanted? I want to get another turkey. That's Aren't we supposed to do that this weekend? No. Well, we talked about it, but I haven't heard a confirmation from Teresa. And then we were gonna then we got asked about DFD as well. So but if you're not feeling well still, then we may not have to be able to do DFD. So or ah. <clears throat> oh, got my <laughs> got it in my egg. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a lot of liquids. So, oh. you, know, you can see this, but you can spin. This is what we go what in our, we want all of this kind of out. So I'm sort of squeezing my hand and squeezing this. Excuse our sink. We're, we, we like to get a lot of things through here. But, one thing I'm going to tell you about, and I'll get it before we leave, but holy moly, I had the best idea ever for some leftovers that turned out to be unbelievable. I made, uh, I took the leftover oh, candy yes. yams that we had, I put them in the blender, I blended them up, added some milk to it so that it would loosen up a little bit. And this is with the marshmallows and everything on top of it. I then... Um, I then took it out and made an ice cream, the ice cream base that we made here before. And I added two cups of it to the ice cream base. 
And then I put it in the ice cream machine. And let me tell you, <laughs> it's a work of art. It's but so But then good. what did you do? Then you mixed. Oh, yeah. So then I made candy, <coughs> I made candy pecans. Mm -hmm. And then while it was cooking or while it was uh, mixing, like towards the very, very end, while it was like kind of solidified, I added uh, the uh, chopped candy pecans and like maybe a quarter cup, maybe a half cup of marshmallows to it at the same time. Yeah. Um, I, I did in one batch add, I tried to add a ribbon of the uh, sweet potato to it and it didn't really, it just incorporated. Yeah, so because it's not really thick. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just breaking this up a little bit, and I'm mixing in. I want to get the onion really distributed in here. Um, so I'm just kind of finding any big clumps of onions or anything that looks like onions. You can tell sort of, you know, they don't look like strips of potatoes. But, um, and just sort of mixing it up. And then I've already got this oil started, and it is... 350-ish, 325 to 350-ish. I'm going to turn it up before we cook. But we're going to um, we're going to add the eggs here. Is that just egg yolk or is that No, nope, full egg. Um, it's two, it says two large eggs, but I have these kind of medium small eggs. So that's three eggs to kind of make up the difference of, you know, not being large eggs. Um, <coughs> and then, then we have, uh, what's this? One half cup of all-purpose flour. We have uh, some coarse salt, two table, two teaspoons, and then one teaspoon of baking powder. You're gonna get some rice. I think this is the mistake I always make. I never add baking powder when I'm just doing something that's like fried in a pan. Yeah, and that's a mistake. I think so because it adds a little lick. <clears throat> yeah. You know. So what all we really are looking to do here is we want to mix until the sort of the, no, sorry, not the potato disappears, the flour sort of gets, the there is no dry flour sitting around. So just mix this on, you know, not mix it on low, just mix it with your hand <laughs> until you can get in here and you'll see kind of starts to come together here. And, you know, I'm going to, what I also, so what we're going to do is before we cook it, I'm going to let this sit a little bit too while we make our cocktail so that it absorbs the liquid, any more liquid gets any of the dry flour patches that I might have missed. I have a question. Yes, my dear. I'm just wondering if you might want to add some Old Bay in there. <laughs> now, I think, it, so at this point, yes, you could probably add whatever. I know, like, again, they add cumin to this. Yeah. It's like a thing. So you could add, if you want Old Bay, add some Old Bay. You want Old Bay? I want Old Bay. Okay, so let's add a little <laughs> Old Bay. I mean, I think... There's probably a million different types of these. Um, so. so we are, I mean, this is a side dish, but we are, you know, the problem is we always think of the side dish and then uh, we often forget about the main dish. Yeah. And so we're then scrambling at eight o'clock at night about what's the main dish going to be. So we decided to... Um, Put some pastrami and Swiss cheese on top of these. And a dollop of uh, sour cream. Yeah. And then that's going to make it like a main dish. But. And if we put all of that in some puff pastry, then we'd have like a knish. Yeah. That would be true. All right. So that, that look at what you're looking for. See how there's liquid. So the, a little bit more liquid. It's kind of. Now if I were to take this out of here, it would stick together pretty well. So. I'm going to set this back here. We'll make a cocktail. And actually, let me get rid of the thing here so that we have. Uh, I know, I know. I'm putting something away. Don't, don't, don't be shocked. Okay. So, uh, this will be an experiment because uh, I've never done this before. So, the recipe calls for milk, brandy, <coughs> eggs. Simple syrup, four ingredients, but you need egg yolk. So, and you make it in the shaker? Yeah, oh yeah. You don't make it in a blender? Nope, I'm gonna show you. Oh. So I'm gonna take- I'm questioning that. Yeah, I know you are. Look at those cute little snowmen on the counter there. They're so cute. 
So there's the ADO. That goes in. And ooh, ooh, ooh. we need one ounce uh, and one quarter ounce. So we'll do we'll do as best we can to get a half one. Half Is this just making one? Yeah. A whole egg yolk? Yeah, it's egg gnaw. I know it is. <laughs> Don't be so sassy. I'm not being sassy. I'm just explaining that it is egg gnaw. All right. So, and then one ounce of Brady's. Um, I have Christian Brothers. You know, isn't that basically it? What's the other one? VJV or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. It's cognac, which is... Thing. There's a seller called BJB. Right. Wine sellers, but so and then for the simple syrup, we need one half ounce of simple syrup. Um, and then what we're there's no ice in it currently, but we are because we're gonna what they call dry mix it so that everything gets the egg yolk gets broken up and mixes together. And then nope, that doesn't go. Um, <laughs> and then we're gonna add ice, and the ice is also gonna help mix everything and froth it. And that will be so. I didn't want it to squirt my face. <laughs> okay. So, dry shake it. So dry shake means without ice. I think so. Okay. Yes, that's what everyone gotcha. wants. Oh shit. Sorry. I meant to, so I'm now, because this is an audible we're calling. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I have fresh cinnamon stick. Ooh. So I'm going to take about, I don't know, we'll just grate what I feel is comfortable with cinnamon in there. I think that's pretty good. Yep. And then... Is that really cinnamon or is it that other stuff? No. Well, uh, I mean, there's no ingredient and it just says stick, cinnamon. Uh, so, you know, because there's that other tree Cassia. that they... Yeah, that they use. All right. So now I'm gonna do continue this real quick. Whoops. Can't get it on as tight that time. Yeah. And now we're just gonna add our regular ice. And this is gonna not only chill it, I mean it looks like eggnog to me, it smells exactly like eggnog. So. Ooh, okay, I'm excited. Shaking vigorously to ensure that the egg is well mixed. <laughs> Are we going to have a taste off between homemade eggnog and store bought eggnog? No, you, already oh. you already know it's store bought eggnog. I mean, looks pretty good. If this works, I'm never buying, I'm not buying store bought <laughs> eggnog again. Do you want to know why? Because in this house, we buy it and then we only drink. Half, maybe half of the carton. Now this year it's been different because Carmen's here and she and Amy both like it. So and now I'm just going to do a little topper and nut nutmeg. And voila, Lee. Homemade eggnog. Let me let me mix up one for myself and then we'll, you can tell me how it is. All right. Does it taste like eggnog? Yeah, it's not as sweet as the store bought. Yeah. But we always mix the store bought with half and half with milk, anyway. Yeah. So, because <clears throat> it's so thick and sweet. Yeah. So, yeah, nice job, honey. I thought, you know, we're going to do, I think I'm going to do, I'll try and do something with a peppermint. Uh, we have some peppermint vodka, or not vodka, but schnapps and that kind of stuff. So, come on, let go of it, you snot rocket. <laughs> and then uh, you know, I think ooh, no, nobody's topping their egg. <laughs> Old <laughs> <vague>, grossy Josie. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> That's uh, that that made me gag. <laughs> if that was your intention, Ted, you did it. <laughs> yeah, I get a yearly carton of eggnog too. All right. Syrup. I mean, if you wanted to sweeten it up, add more simple syrup. It doesn't need it. I don't no. think it needs it, right? And that's what I'm saying. Like, we always cut ours, so. Yeah. 
<clears throat> this just means I can have eggnog whenever I want. If I want eggnog in June, I can have it. Well, yeah, and it'll be always brandy, so. It doesn't have to always be. No, but if that's what you want. Perfect. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> oh, man. Um, you know what would be good? We could make eggnog ice cream, too. I saw that in the store the other day. That'd be fun. But... I'll tell you. That candy yam ice cream, I mean, it doesn't taste like candy yams. It just tastes sweet and delicious. I think it has, I think it has a taste. Of, uh, you do? Yeah, I do. I just thought it tasted like marshmallowy goodness. It it's a pretty color. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, this way, I mean, I think this is a perfect, if you only need, if you're only going to drink a little bit of eggnog at a, at a time, Yeah. this is the way to do it. And you can, I mean, what is this? A couple, five minutes, then it will pretty much be done. Per batch. Or per cup, I guess. Piper. Yeah. She's on her back. Squeaking that she's thing like right crazy. She you is would never loving believe it. she's 13 years old. She's 12. All right. I think that's pretty vigorous. Set that off to the side. My nutmeg. And voila. Come on, cheers. Cheers. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Here's the deal. I probably should say this. They don't say consume raw eggs. So here's your warning. If you don't want to consume raw eggs or you think it's going to give you a foodborne illness, don't do it. Uh, I'll take the risk. So, all right. I think that was a rousing success, and I'm super excited that it worked. So, um, oh, where's are both of my specials in the, in the? No, I think one's in the. Ah, here it is. We'll use this one. These are really good. Oh, we did get confirmation. It is bomb key. Is yeah. The they, they emailed you. that. Um, they really like the video. So hopefully we'll get to do another collaboration with them in the future. So, um, okay. Take our mix. And then Are you going to use a scoop? We're going to. A scoopy doop. Use a heaping tablespoon to drop the batter into a hot pan. Ooh. And let's call That'd it. That'd be like the littlest scoop. I think we'll call it that one. No. How about, how about that one? Yeah. And then, like that, that's a heaping. So I'm going to turn this up because it's going to drop temperature when I put this in here. But. So it's already fried. And then, just smoosh. And that, that's it. That's it. Pan of pancakes. The one thing you do want to have is I'll have it too uh, ready, but I uh, have some finishing salt. Piper, please stop doing that. Don't you know we're in a production right now? Jeez Louise, who brought their dog to work? <laughs> oh wait, she lived there. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, I can smell the onions, which smell really good. Um, this makes, they say this makes about three dozen. I think they're full of it. So, yes, Ted, the whole tree is decorated for Christmas. So, I'm, I'm not crowding the plate pan here. I'm just letting them go. <laughs> What's, somebody's texting you. Tony thinks that the squeaking is bleeping out you swearing. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty funny. So, I do have a, pan, I do have a plate ready to go with paper towel. And it's not, I, that just because I want you to stop doesn't mean I need you in the kitchen. Right? She's like, no, you called me. Yeah, yeah. You said my name. So about five minutes, these are going to do their thing. Um, so we'll just kind of do this, let them brown up. Um, and let's, let's, I mean, Christmas is coming. If you're uh, Jewish, Hanukkah is on its way as well. I, 
I don't know because it's it starts Christmas, right around the right around Christmas time, and it goes to the end of the year because that's when they lit the last of the menorah when we were in Boston or in, in Brooklyn. So I'm going with that. Um, I'm doing this in a cast iron because I want the, the first of all, as we all know, this this burn top, while awesome, it does not. Yes, I think you do hear squeaking, um, <laughs> but we do have. Uh, <laughs> Started two days ago. Oh, thank you, Sandor. Hanukkah started two days ago. So. Ah. Um, and so these are, I mean, like I said, that was like mad. That whole event was magic. It was a little bit off putting when we first got there because they had garbage trucks like blocking the whole park area where the memorial is because it's New York City or, or, or sorry, domestic Brooklyn, terrorism. And they have to, yeah, they have to worry about that. And so that was off putting. And then, but then, Oh my, everybody was so kind and like welcoming. We were talking to different people and we were kind of watching the no. whole thing. And it it was kind of a magical thing. So, um, you know, so hopefully, uh, you know, we can experience something like that again. And if you are not Jewish and you have the opportunity to go to that or something like that, I highly recommend it. It is really, really fun. And I'm going to continue to drink this. So. Hmm. Have everybody started their Christmas shopping? Or are you gonna wait the last? Are you people who wait the like the last minute? Usually, I wait the last minute, but uh, this year I'm not gonna do that. So <laughs> I've already started, and I'm so proud of you. Stuff is on its way, and if I think of something else, then I can buy it. So um, we want brown and crispy, which we are starting to get a little bit more towards the center. So if you need to. Sort of rotate that because this is tomorrow. I'm going to go to the um, Asian supermarket where I got my gas or butane and get more canisters. So that I uh, did they recycle them there? Will they take them? I don't know. We'll take them and see. But so I'm just letting these go. No, I'm just, we could just check really quickly and see. What do you What do you see there? Are they looking good? Because it's hard for me to see. Uh they're light brown. Okay, so we want to go a little bit further. Than it should be brown and crispy <coughs> about five minutes. And then do the other, we're going to do that again. We're going to flip it all over and do it again. Um, Why don't you chop up the um You want to get mud as a side dish merchandise for Christmas? Uh, well, I can, um, I can, I have a laser engraver and I was going to do some spoons, but we have to have to buy the spoons. Like wooden spoons, and then I was going to laser engrave the logo on that. If you should are, talk about the use. If people are interested in that, I will totally get started on that production. Oh, yeah. First of all, candy pecans. Thank you, Jessica, for the recipe. These are amazing. Um, they are like crack. <laughs> They're sweet and savory. Sometimes mm -hmm. Amy puts a little cayenne pepper in with them, too. Yes. Oh, man. That's really good. So, so tell. How do you make them? So you just take egg whites and whip them. You mix up your sugar, cinnamon, and and I think there's there's some cornstarch. Mix that in a bowl. Then you are going to take uh, about a pound of your <coughs> pecans and toss them in the egg whites, and then they will get. Um, they're going to get that kind of after you whip them. You want them to get sort of frothy. And then they're going to get, and they're going to be sticky. You put them in there, and then you toss them in the dry mixture, ingredients. The dry ingredients. Spread them out on a sheet pan at 350 for, you know, 45 minutes. And then every 15 minutes, you go in there and mux them about so that they get evenly coated and also that. So. And they're delish. So. An autographed laser spoon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, this is what we're talking about here. Ready? It's crispy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. So, they, be patient. You want these to be, you know, you want them to have the crisp and the, but you want them to be the fullness of the that. So, yeah. An autograph laser spoon. Per okay, yeah. What does it mean to be a laser spoon? Yeah, I don't know about a laser <laughs> spoon, but I can do a laser engraved spoon for you. 
Um, I guess I'll look at uh, when do you want to send this off by? Because I'll have to go get a, a blank spoon and get it done. They're all, uh, yeah, I think they look like, amazing. Um, <laughs> I don't, I guess I didn't think about releasing merch for the holiday season, but um, I mean, I guess I could get on production of some wooden products and. I don't have a storefront, so you'd have. I, I, I don't know how that, to do that. Put it on Etsy. Uh, that's true. I could do it on Etsy. The thing that I can tell. Oh yeah, they're nice and they're gonna be so good, especially with a little bit of this uh, flaky finishing salt. Ooh, so good, Jacobs and the salt in outside of Portland, right? Mm -hmm. Holy shit, are they good there? I went there. I was like so excited. I saw them on Bon Appetit. And I was like, I don't even know. And they had an uptick in business since they were featured on there. And I was like, you know, I was like a nerd, like being there. Like, oh, you guys get a lot of business. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, so <laughs> you guys remember when you guys were on by the tea? Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> so, um, man, I, I am so thoroughly impressed with how good this is. You did good for something that only takes a few minutes. Oh man, Brandy really settled with the bottom. Are those eggs pasteurized? Yes, I think it's okay then. That's something I was reading was like, just make sure you use pasteurized eggs. I don't know, but I will say, um, yes, the salt is kosher, <laughs> Sandor. <laughs> and uh, what else? Something else I use is kosher. Oh. The, oh, the sour cream, which I think is hilarious. Does it say on here? I thought it said on here. Somewhere I read <laughs> that it said gluten-free on sour cream, and I was like, <laughs> Duh. what? But, yeah, <laughs> that's so ridiculous. All right, let's take a look. See how <clears throat> the other side's looking, because it's a little warmer. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're ready. We're ready. Oh, my God, this is going to be so good. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I swear, I, I think about that night where out of nowhere just like <laughs> Jewish grandmas just like came up to us and were like, Would you like a latka? And we were like, Yes, yes. and then another one completely different. Other stuff came though too. It wasn't yeah. just that I can't remember what else, but yeah. Um, it was kind of weird that we just ate food that random yeah. people handed us. Yeah, it was awesome. But we did. Uh, so this separated a teeny tiny bit, so I'm just mixing it back up to, you know, emulsify it. And then, you know, we'll, do, we'll start over. But we're going to try these, and then um, we're going to wish you good night. Come on. Nope, I guess it's done. <laughs> I don't know if that's a cat Perfect. hair or stringy from an onion or what, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's put it this way. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a cat hair. If it was a cat, it'd be in my mouth. La, 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 What is that? Fiddler on the Roof is coming. I know. Coming to the Pioneer Center. Flattening out. Um, yeah. Oh, man. So, in conclusion, while those are doing that, um, now, like I said, take this, and now since they're hot, this is when you want to do this. You tie a bit of that, and then traditionally, what I read and saw is that you can sour cream is a good topper, but also applesauce. Yeah. Applesauce, or there's two camps. People are like only applesauce people, or there's only sour cream people, and then there's people who mix them. Well, since I do not care for applesauce, I my uh, I had students today ask me if applesauce was a real thing. Like, yeah. like, like it was make believe. Yeah. Well, the book we were reading it's about two trees, and the trees are named Mac, and the other tree ah. is named Tosh. So I had to go through and explain that whole thing because there's a lot of bias in this book. And then it was like, you know, 
<clears throat> they made apple pie and apple tarts and applesauce and my kids they didn't know what what that was well yeah. oh i am not doing a good job of tracking you that's okay you're talking i'm getting i'm just going to cut this one in half here because it's the prettiest i think Not doing a great job with that. Well, it it's is. weird that you decided to use two forks to do it instead of a knife, but whatever. What? Who am I to judge, I guess? Mix it up. Oh, yeah. Boop. Boop. Come on. Yeah, made with love means he put his fingers all over it. Mm -hmm. Listen, who, who couldn't find Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches at the store for you? So I spent three day, two days making you from scratch breakfast sandwiches. This guy, that's who. <laughs> that's true. So That is true. Because it is funny. <laughs> so yeah, these are cooking a little bit faster. Mmm, but... yeah. Mm-hmm, that's delicious. Yeah. Got another oh yeah, 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 yeah. Old Bay was really the way to go. And the onion in there? Oh my god! Really good, really rich tasting. Oh my god! This yeah. is amazing. Yeah. So make them tomorrow, or you know, make them this year. So, I mean, you saw it's not really that difficult of a process. You know, the, I use I use the shredder on the food mm -hmm. processor because I had it, but. You could easily do the, eat all of that on a hand dryer. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Well, I got good job. Well, next week is the eighth, which means it's five days before my birthday. So, <clears throat> before and after my birthday, we're going to do things I want to make, like that I love. So, we're going to figure that out. Oh, before we go, pull up. Entertain them. Entertain them by let's watch these latkes burn. That'll be fun. Honey, check the latkes. I just flipped them. Really? Yeah, not too long. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, is there concerns in there? Uh, oh. Just from me. Oh, okay. That's how we were entertaining ourselves, was watching them burn. Oh, well, don't do that. Okay. So. This is the ice cream that I made. Look at that. Look at that. It's so delicious. <laughs> oh, okay. So we were thinking, though, about something else that you could have. Cranberry sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cranberry. If you have leftover cranberry sauce. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think you can make ice cream pretty much out of anything if you want to. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> but on that note, it's December. Love each other a little bit more. Reach out to people you haven't talked to in a while. And remember, be kind, be loyal, and do something nice for somebody this week. We love you so much. We'll see you next week. Keep going because I'm not transitioning very quickly. <laughs>